All right, peace, 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 family. Queen here, aka Q. Peace, goddesses. Peace, gods. All right. Um. So today is NFP day, which is non-farm payroll. So the uh, report has come out. And you, probably, you might be wondering because I'm putting this on my uh, on my health channel, and um, you might be wondering. Where did this come from, right? Has nothing to do with exercising. But we're going to exercise these uh, financial markets. <laughs> but anyway, um, YouTube decided to take down my other channel, my other uh, financial channel. And I just don't really feel like going through the hassle of creating another channel and having another password to remember and all of this bullshit. So I'm just going to put all of my stuff on, on this channel, right? So you just sift through the stuff that resonates with you and the stuff that doesn't, you know, just keep it moving. Um, one of my friends was telling me to start a TikTok and I'm like, hell no, I'm not starting no damn TikTok. I'm not starting another. They, they keep coming out with shit to keep you distracted, to keep you off your mark, off your game. And I'm just not falling for it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. So the YouTube channel, the Instagram, and some of the little Facebook stuff that I do, that's a fucking enough, in my opinion. All right? So that's enough. So don't don't be sending me no messages. I'm like, you go over here and set up over here on this platform and that platform. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay? So if you want my content, you want my information, it's the YouTube, which is um, Queen Nagonya Maat. Is it Queen Maat Nagonya? one of those but if you put in if you just put in YouTube Nagonia which is one of my middle names N-E-G-O-N-Y-A-H if you put that in YouTube my channel is the first one that pulls up um because there's a lot of my odds so that's YouTube and then you know on Instagram I've got um the the health Instagram is real vegan health queen real vegan health queen and then the business financial money making all that kind of stuff is real cash flow queen real cash flow queen those are on instagram okay and facebook is um yeah facebook the health is real vegan health queen real vegan health queen on facebook and then um i have a business page or uh, I don't know what they call it nowadays, but it's Cash Flow Queen on Facebook. But really, I don't put a lot of stuff on that page, um, that business page. So really, just to keep to keep track, you know, the YouTube or the Instagram, you'll be you'll be good. All right. So anyway, let's talk about this NFP. What's NFP? First of all, got some trades uh, that didn't happen because of NFP. People are afraid of these reports that come out. So let's go over here. You, you see here, I'm on this page, just showing you all the sea of red. Everything's a fucking red. Everything's been red almost this entire year, probably going into first quarter, second quarter of next year. Uh, we're going to, you know, still kind of be climbing out of this mess that the uh, feds have created for us. So let's look at, uh, let me go over here. I want to look at. Give you the definition. I pulled this up. Non-farm payroll. What the meaning is. Non-farm payroll is the measure of the number of workers in the U.S. excluding farm workers and workers in a handful of other job classifications. The non-farm payroll classification excludes farm workers as well as some government workers, private households, proprietors, and nonprofit employees. So basically this is a report that comes out from time to time to kind of give you a snapshot of what's going on in the employment sector. And um, so you can kind of gauge like um, different stocks and things like that, tradings that you may be doing and so forth and so on. So you can kind of gauge which sectors may be more profitable if you want to pull out of the market or what you want to do. Like today, uh, a lot of my traders have pulled out. We're just kind of sitting idle. So we're not trading today because of this report. So this is a, a report from CNBC today actually it was published this morning title is unemployment rate falls to 3.5 percent in september payrolls rise 
by 263,000 as the job market stays strong. So it's a bit misleading uh, with that job market stays strong bullshit, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. So some key points in this article. Non-farm payrolls increased 263,000 for the month, short of the Dow Jones estimate of 275,000. The unemployment rate was 3.5%, down 0.2% points as the labor force participation rate edged lower. Yeah, people are just like, fuck it, I'm not going to work. You know, they're just like, I'm just not going to do it. And this has been going on ever since, um, um, you know, the Rona, right? Can't, can't say the C word anymore or your YouTube video gets pulled down. It's just all types of shenanigans going on out here. Um, average hourly earnings rose 5% from a year ago, slightly below the estimate. Leisure and hospitality, healthcare and business and professional services led sector gains. Now, I'm not going to read this entire um, article to you. It's on CNBC.com. And it's the jobs report, September 2022. All right. But I'm going to read some snippets here. Job growth fell just short of expectations in September, and the unemployment rate declined despite efforts by the Federal Reserve to slow the economy, the Labor Department reported Friday. Non-farm payrolls increased 263K for the month compared with the Dow Jones estimate of 275K. The unemployment rate was 3.5% versus the forecast of 37 as the labor force participation rate edged lower to 62.3 and the size of the labor force decreased by 57,000. I want to make sure I don't make this video too long. We're already at six minutes. I'm trying to keep this under 10. Um, so anyway, just a bunch of hoopla, blah, blah, blah. This is a, uh, a chart, you know, showing from January, the U.S. monthly job creation in 2022 from January up to today. So that's a little chart showing you that. Um, year to year percent change and average hourly earnings from the private sector is the chart showing you that from 2019 to today. So basically, I'm just sharing this with you and you can read through this at your leisure if you are a nerd like me. But at the end of the day, we know the sea of red that's taking place. So let's go back to the sea of red. The sea of red that's taking place is because, you know, the Fed keeps keeps uh, hiking the rates, right? So as the uh, rates keep hiking, what happens, and this is uh, the stock market see a red. Let me show you the Bitcoin and crypto see a red, which is right here, right? All right. So now as the Fed keeps raising and hiking the rates, which they said will probably continue through quarter one and quarter two of um, 2023, what happens is your money, you know, your fiat, your U.S. dollars or whatever, you know, if you're not in the U.S., whatever your national currency is, that currency gets depleted, right? The value of it gets depleted as the Fed keeps, you know, hiking the rates because what they do is um, they hike the rates, they print more money so that 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 makes your value of your money less and less and less. And we see that every day, right? We see that with gas prices. We see that with food prices. You know, food has gone up, I don't know, almost 20% in some areas, right? We also see um, real estate, you know, assets are increasing, right? Drastically, right? So, I mean, that should give you a clue right there. You need to own more assets, okay? So now, how do you how do you protect? How do you protect? Again, I want to uh, maybe we'll try to keep this under fifteen minutes because I'm already at nine minutes, right? How do you protect your hard earned labor, right? Because your money is your hard earned labor, right? That equates to your hard earned labor, the money that you have, you know, in your checking account, in your pocket in your retirement accounts, in your stock brokerage accounts. That's your hard earned labor, you know, trans transformed into this fiat, into these US dollars. 
that a handful of people get to manipulate and control. So what is it that you can do? Now, I just gave you a clue, right? I said that as they're hiking the rates, assets are going up, right? Now, you know, obviously we know that um, assets like real estate, gold, um, different commodities, commodities, they can also, they, you know, they can, they can be manipulated and, you know, they are manipulated, <laughs> right? But at the, at the end of the day, you know, hard assets is the way to preserve your net worth and to preserve the value of your hard-earned labor. So I've been a proponent over the years. My number one hard asset is Bitcoin, all right? You know, if you've been following me any length of time, you know, on my financial uh, channels and outlets and so forth, then you know, you know, like, I've been kind of sharing with people over the years, you know, how to, how to preserve. So when they, when, when they, see, one Bitcoin is still one Bitcoin, right? Now, if you compare it to U.S. dollars, obviously, you know, the high, we went up to like 70000 per Bitcoin. And now, as you can see right here on the chart that's trading, we are at, what, nineteen four. So it's called a 19400 right now, right? So right now, Bitcoin is on sale. Bitcoin is on sale. Now, you can't control, you can't control the Fed's raising rates. You can't control um, um, the feds um, or the banks, you know, putting in stipulations and rules uh, against uh, against you freely moving, you know, your your currency and moving your money and so forth. You can't you can't control any of that. The thing that you can control with Bitcoin and a few other, you know, well, I'm not going to say a few other crypto. You can, you know make money with other cryptocurrencies and then my strategy to my clients is always to turn that into bitcoin right because bitcoin is the hardest um safest most secure asset bearer asset that that you can own in the world you know it's the it's the uh most hardest asset that you can own the most safest most secure blockchain has never been compromised. I just read a report this morning, you know, uh, BNB, Binance had a, like a hundred million dollar hack or something like that. You know, there's always these hacks with these other uh, chains. But see, Bitcoin was created in such a way that it's truly decentralized, right? It almost makes it nearly impossible for anyone to hack, to hack, <laughs> to hack the Bitcoin blockchain, right? So now here you have this pristine asset that a lot of people at this point in time, in 2022, September, they are not aware that this asset is going to be their saving grace. They don't know that yet. They don't know that yet, right? So the masses don't know that yet makes it an opportunity for you to get in, right? To purchase the asset and you don't have to buy, you know, say you say, I don't have 20 grand to buy Bitcoin. You don't have to buy a full Bitcoin. You know, you can take five grand, buy a piece of Bitcoin. You take a thousand, buy a piece of a Bitcoin. You can take a hundred dollars, buy a piece of a Bitcoin, right? But at the end of the day, you want your hard labor, your financial energy, right? You want that to be secured in an asset that can't be manipulate, manipulated and uh, messed with by other people that don't have your best interests at heart, all right? So I don't wanna make this video any longer. I uh, just wanted to show you guys just a little bit about the non-farm payroll article from CNBC, just a little bit about um, where we are today, you know, with uh, the crypto Bitcoin markets as well as the stock markets, and then also give you a resource where you can get more information if this is something that you really want to dive into and you really want to learn. So 
I have a, a website. I wrote a book back in 2016. I wrote a book. If you want to get that book, you can get it at this website as well. But I also have a two hour training that's absolutely free. A two hour training that's absolutely free, okay? Where you can get more educated on what this financial matrix is made up of, how this financial matrix game is played. Because see, you don't even realize that you're in a financial game, right? If you don't know that you're in a game, then you're playing to lose because you don't know that you're in a game. Once you know that you're in a game, now the next step is to find the rules. What are the rules of this game, right? And how can I manipulate those rules to my will and what it is that I want to accomplish financially? Once you know those keys, then you're good to go. All you have to do now is implement, okay? So if you go to BitcoinDigitalMoney.com, BitcoinDigitalMoney.com, you can review the two-hour educational webinar. You can get a copy of the book if you like. Um, and you can move further into my ecosystem, if you will, if, if it resonates with you. All right. Again, the website is BitcoinDigitalMoney.com. All right. And I'll see you all in uh, another video. All right. So stay healthy mentally, physically, and financially. All right. Bless up, family.